Shalom, brothers and sisters and family. Shalom. Welcome to the live Shabbat class. This is your host, Jeremiah Israel, and welcome to another Sabbath day. Before I get started, for those who are new to my channel or those who are just return visitors, if you have not done so already, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This is a teaching ministry and you like to be around for the things that I'm going to instruct. This is for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is not a everybody ministry. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that it is. Now, if you are in, in, in wanting to join in this ministry, now everybody, you know, can be taught the law, statutes, and commandments. The Most High God is not going to, it's not a God of, uh, of anger. If you want to learn his laws and, 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 and learn his commandments and do, do his will, yeah, he, he will make you glad in his kingdom. So says Isaiah, Isaiah 56, and I think it's like 8, 7 and 8, that he will make you glad if you can keep his Sabbath days and, and, and keep his laws. He he will make you glad in his kingdom. So, yeah, it's you know you you know it's for you to learn. But enough of that already. For those who like to support my ministry, I'm not going to ask you for a cash app, no PayPal's and no whatever WhatsApp apps and all that all of that crap. I, I'm not going to ask that. I'm going to ask you to. Support my ministry to, through purchasing one of my books. This is my latest offering, Year My Israel. If you want to get this book available in the library or you want to purchase it, you can go to Amazon.com, put that name in the search app, the search line, Jeremiah Israel. This is Israelite Reconstruction. You can purchase this in ebook format, paperback, or hardcover. If you want to get this available at the library, you want to have this information. You want to have the, the name of the author, the title of the book, and this ISBN number right here. So you go to Amazon.com. You can get this book, uh, put that, that name in the search app, hit enter, and that information will be made available. Again, blood, the, the blood of the covenants. You want this available at the library? Same thing. You need this ISBN number right here. The name of the author, the name of the book, and the ISBN number. Study Guide of the Kingdom, Volume One. Jeremiah Israel. You need the name of the book, the ISBN number. I stopped writing books. I, I try to stop writing books this big because I find Hebrews don't like reading big books. So I kind of keep it to a, a a healthy tablespoon. So you know, so that Hebrews will at least try to pick it up and and read it. But. And, 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 and most part has gone well because this, when I keep books smaller, you know, Hebrews do read. But the thing about it is, now I'm asking you because the fact is I am an author. I, I have over 16 books. So I'm asking you to support me in that, in my, in that endeavor. You know, a lot of people always claim that black folks don't like to write. Black people don't, there are no black authors. Well, they are, they are. They are black authors, but you know what? We have the hardest time getting support from our own people. You know, I'm not asking for a white man to support me. I, you know, I don't, I don't want white people to support anything that I do. I want, I want my own people to support their own authors. Their own, their own authors to make, you know, so that they can have things written 
for them. And, and it's, it's, it's no hatred toward black, white folks or anything like that. It's just the fact that y'all black folks and Hispanic folks and Native American people are the, are the supposed to be the ones supporting things for yourself. You support yourself. Don't rely upon other people to support you. Anyway, let's get with our lesson. Shalom, Israel. This includes you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those of the diaspora dispersed throughout the Americas, Africa, India, Europe, Asia, and the islands. Those of the sub-Saharan and the transatlantic slave trade. My topic today is biblical events. Women of Israel, Esther, part 11. Queen Esther reveals her request to the king. Haman the Amalekite and Edomite had prepared an elaborate gallows 75 feet tall to hang Mordecai. He should have built one for himself also. Esther 7 and 7. And the king said again unto Esther on the second day at the banquet of wine, What is thy petition, Queen Esther? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? And it shall be performed even to the half of the kingdom. The king has lost sleep because he really wanted to know what was in what was on Queen Esther's mind. When the, when the king got to the banquet, he asked her, he asked her, wanted to know her petition. So he really wanted to know. And whatever it shall be performed, even to the half of the kingdom. When a man loves a woman and she has a humble spirit, he does not mind sharing everything that he has with her. And this is this is Ahasuerus, King Ahasuerus. He was like, Esther, whatever you want, I'll give it to you. I'll give you even to the half of the kingdom. Whatever it is you want. Esther 7 and 3. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at my petition and my people at my request. Queen Esther asked King Ahasuerus that her life be saved as her petition and her people be saved at her request. Haman did not know that, that Queen Esther was a Jew who King Ahasuerus loved and would do anything for her. He didn't know that Queen Esther was a Jew because Mordecai told her, look, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody that you're a Jew. She didn't have Jewish garments on. She didn't walk walking around with fringes and fringe garments and stuff like that. He told her to keep that secret. Esther 7 and 4. For we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondsmen and bondswomen, I had, held, I had held my tongue, although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Queen Esther told the king if she and her people were to be sold as slaves, she would have not said anything, for her and her people were slated to be, to the, be destroyed. This chapter is important for all the Jews to understand that if Haman was allowed to execute his plan, the Jews would be no more. A very few in number. Queen Esther and Mordecai at the will of the Most High God saved our lives. Esther 75. Then the king Ahasuerus answered and said unto Esther the queen, Who is he and where is he that does presume in his heart to do so? Who the hell is this? Queen Esther was being used by Haman to King Ahasuerus was being used by Haman to destroy the Jews. He had already gotten authority and resources from the king to exterminate the Jews in all 127 provinces. 
the king did not know that Haman was referred to Esther's people. Now let's see how it worked out for him. Esther 7 and 6. And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. That Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. He had every right to be, be afraid. Esther's wisdom to accuse Haman in the presence of the king was complete. She did not want to have a separate conversation with the king. Then when Haman is questioned by the king, he denies everything. Esther 7 and 7. And the king arising from the banquet of wine and his wrath went into the palace garden and Haman stood up to make request for his life to Esther the queen. And he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. Oh. Now see, this is the part right here where somebody is supposed to have pity for, for Haman. Now, just because Mordecai didn't bow and bend to you, you want to exterminate a whole nation of people that hadn't done nothing to you. Now, as Esther said, she said, if 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 he wanted to put us into slavery, I would have I would have held my tongue. I wouldn't have said nothing. But to exterminate us, I have to say something. To get rid of all of us? When the king heard this revelation, he was totally upset, being used by Haman to destroy his queen, whom he loved and her people. Haman, whose intention had been brought to, to life, offended even the king, who is now angry and is seeking vengeance. Esther 79, and Harbona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold, also the gallows, fifty cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, standing in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him there. <laughs> Hang him there on. King Ahasuerus, chamberlains, reported to the king that Haman had built a 75-foot gallow to, to hang Mordecai, who reported to the king of king's officials those who intended to do him harm. The king ordered that Haman be hanged from the gallows that he built for Mordecai to be hanged. This is a prime example of a wicked man's trap backfiring on him when he sets a trap for a righteous man. That's the thing about it. Never set a trap for a righteous man. I don't give a damn how good that that trap, how full full foolproof that trap is. You set a trap for a righteous man, you might as well make two of them. Because you're gonna go into you're gonna go into you're gonna be trapped instead. And this is Haman's this is what Haman did. He set a trap for a righteous man. Mordecai was a righteous man. You know he was, he was actually hurt when he read the decree from his people uh, to, to kill all his people. He wasn't concerned about himself, but he was in a position to do something about it. How many of y'all walking around now knowing, you know, uh, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, I was watch, um, watching YouTube. He was one of the few rappers back in the 90s when uh, when they had the uh had that conference with all them white people and stuff it, you know they made them uh sign a non-disclosure and, and stuff like that when they were building all those uh private prisons and stuff and when they changed uh, hip hop around to to all this uh this thug music and all this stuff oh he was in there with it oh he, he was one of the few people that didn't say anything That's that's what that's the level of our, what where our people have uh, have uh, have fallen to. They know things that's that's occurring right today, and they ain't saying nothing about it. How many how many of y'all just know what 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 your enemy is doing to your people, 
and you and just because they give you a few trinkets or some money or something, you just keep your mouth shut. You don't give a damn about nobody in your people, but you want people to buy all that crap that you that you pump out. And people are foolish to do it. The moral of the story is biblical. When you set trap for a righteous man, know that the Most High will sometimes intervene to show his power. Proverbs 26, 24. He that hated the symbol with his lips and led of the seat within him. Haman was concealing his motives to King Ahasuerus that allowed Haman to make a decree in the name of the king to destroy Queen Esther and her people. This is exactly what Haman did. Proverbs 26, 25. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. There are seven abominations in his heart. Haman had a fair speech as if he was doing the Persia immediate kingdom by destroying all of the Jews in the kingdom. Haman was considering seven wicked deceits in his heart. When Esau finally got world dominion, they destroyed over 100 million Israelites over the world. Because Esther is allergic to the, because Esau is allergic to the truth, that number may be as high as half a billion Israelites. When they came to the New World, Osiris, there were no laws or government to prevent Esau from killing at will. They were drunk with blood. A bucket two and four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith. Any man who lifts himself up thinking that he is better than his brother, nor does he recognize the plight of his brother, that person's soul is ungodly. He is covetous, adulterous, murderous, a thief, and he does not recognize anything but money as sacred. Now you can, you know, like I said, that brother is, 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 is all of those. He covered things. He's a thief. He's an adulterer. You know, he, he sleep with his friend's woman and then write a hip-hop song about it or something and, and, and tell the world how bad he is. And then nobody don't, you know, then nobody understand what happened when he when he ended up dead. Because, yeah, you do that to a lot. You know, if some men going to. Yeah, they're going to they gonna let, let you do it. Uh, let you do it. Okay, I'm going to let that fool live for a few, few you know, a little bit. But I'm going to get him. Just when just when he thought that, I would, that I'm not uh, going to get him, that's what I'm going to show up. That's what somebody going to show up and remind him what he did. And, and, and reminding him he's going to be dead. He's going to be too dead to, to, uh, to apologize. You don't play. You don't play with everybody, and some of these fools play with the wrong people. Play these little little kid games with with the wrong people, and you wind up dead. I have no pity for you because the wages of sin is death. And, and like I'm saying, if you if you're dead, you deserve to be dead. That that's how I'm gonna say it. Because if you're dead, you're playing with people, and you shouldn't play with people like that. And the wages of sin is death. If the Most High God put you to death, if you're dead, the Most High God made it so. Like he say, he formed the light. He do evil. He do good. A bucket two and five. Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap it unto him all people. You're talking about Esau. You ain't got to say his name. You just think about his attributes. He's proud. He don't, he don't keep it at home. He's proud. He, he's too proud. He goes in everybody else's country and dictates what they're supposed to do 
in their own country when he's doing all kind of dirt in his, his country. Telling you how to be civil toward one another, but all the dirt and stuff that he's doing in this country, ain't no civility going on here. Transgressing by wine means that this person or this nation is walking in lies and falsehoods. Micah 2 and 11. For man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink. He shall even be the prophet of this people. That's most of our people. Most of our so-called prophets, a bunch of liars. This man who is walking in falsehood and lies is proud in everybody's country telling them what they should accept like same-sex marriages of many of their abominable policies. Not only that, he has changed the image and the color of the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Christ, the angels, and the prophets. This is describing a deceiver or a devil selling lies and telling lies, keeping up conflicts in all the nations. Proverbs 26 and 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. That is how the devil or deceiver is destroying the Israelites today, pretending to be your allies. But they are planning deceit behind your backs. Is that not what the Democratic Party has been doing to their so-called African-American constituents over the last 70 years? Former President Bill Clinton knew that the CIA were dumping crack into ghettos and hoods throughout America. Instead of preventing the CIA from doing this, Clinton and your now president, Joe Biden, enacted the three strikes law of the, of the 1022 sentencing enhancement, 1994. This is the source. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.justice.gov forward slash archives forward slash JM forward slash criminal dash resource dash manual dash 1032 dash sentence, sentencing dash enhancement dash three dash strikes dash law. With this law and the 13th Amendment, your government made so called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American slaves all over again. Also, to go with the three strikes rule, they passed laws for mandatory sentences, five grams, which is 0 .17637 ounce. 0.17, not even two tenths of an ounce. 0 .17637 ounce of crack is a five-year mandatory prison sentence, but 500 grams, which is 17.637, which is over a pound of powder cocaine, would carry the same sentence. You, you, you'd have to have 500 grams of powder cocaine to get a five-year sentence. I have a source for that, https colon forward slash forward slash www.prisonpolicy, that's all one word, dot org, forward slash scans, forward slash sp, forward slash 1003.pdf. Bill Clinton used to play his saxophone among the jazz greats as if he was one of them, but behind the scenes, he was creating problems for their people while the government who placed all these drugs in these communities to fund a war, the Iran Contra. Now, I remember those times, you know, I'm old enough to know, remember that, those days back then when he, you know, every time you turn around, he's on stage with some of the great jazz performers with his little saxophone, thinking that he, he he's, he's, he's a musician. But all, all the while, he's doing all this stuff in, in, the, in the background. And, and you're like saying, you Hebrews are, are just foolish. 
Your enemy play you like they play you like a fiddle. Pretending to be your friend and all the hell they, that they, they they have for you in store. It, it may not apply to you, but you know what? You are no better than your people. If you think you're better than your people because you, okay, you come up out of the dirt and you if you're able to look around and do a little bit more things than, than, than the rest of us, you know, you, you're no better. You're no better than your people. Because the fact is, they still see you as a nigga. You still a nigga to them. I don't give a damn how much money you got. And from time to time, they're going to rile their head up and they're going to show you that you just still a nigga. Look at look what they did to O.J. Simpson. What they did to Tiger Woods. Look, they did all the greats. Mike Tyson, you know, uh, 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 Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. They don't, they don't give two craps about you. you still, you to them, you still a nigga. Don't care how much money you got. Proverbs 26, 27, Whoso digging the pit shall fall therein, and he that rolled the stone, it will return it to him. Esau has dug many pits for the Israelites. And when the Most High returns to mercy on his people, there will be many pits for them to fall into. There are going to be a lot of pits for them to fall. Proverbs 26, 28, A lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Haman, a lion tongue, hated Mordecai and his people, and he did not care what befell them, because he was prepared to kill every Jew in the kingdom. When you compare his hatred towards the Jews, there are many Edomites in power that comes to mind, who goes out of their way to attempt to exterminate or enslave the Most High God's people. Esther 7 and 10. So they hang Haman on the gallows, that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. Haman was hanged in the gallows. He prepared for Mordecai to be hanged. This was at the hands of the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, we can understand how the Most High God you know, I'm, I'm going to bring this up later on, maybe, but the Most High God is not going to allow you to destroy all of his people. Because the fact is, our enemies think they, they continue to do the same thing, but they don't understand. Most High God to tell you in the Bible, and like I said, y'all don't believe that this Bible is a true book. All these plans that, you know, that's why I don't pay attention to a lot of this bull crap. You know, Bill Gates is doing all this, doing all that, and, and trying to kill everybody. Most High God ain't going to allow that to happen. He told you the parameters that has to happen. If, they, if our enemy can count every star in the heaven, they can destroy all the moons, all the stars, and the sun. Or they can name go on, under, under the water and, and, and discover everything under, under the depths of the ocean or in the earth. Then, would he destroy Israel, his people? They haven't, they haven't done that yet. So, them planning to do things against the Israelites and to, to destroy us all and to, you know, they try to kill us. No, okay, whatever. Fact is, you know what? I, I don't fall for the okie doke because I, I, have a, I have a living God. I have the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I trust in him. I trust the things that he said. You know, it, it may seem perilous, it may seem dangerous, it, the times may be, maybe uh, may seem a lot, uh, really, really bad for us. It is. But as, as, as the uh, scriptures say, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, 
and lean not lean not unto your own understanding. You just trust in the Most High. If He said is is go, what's going to happen? If He said it, then I believe it. You know, He, he ain't never pulled a wool over my eyes. Man has. So, like I'm saying, I trust in the Most High. So if 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 He said it's going to happen, uh, if it's not going to happen, they can plan as long as they want. It's cool because the fact is, we, we've you know, I'm showing you the enemies right now. We've had enemies forever that, that's, that's been trying to destroy all of us. Because here, Haman, if, if the nation was, if, if, if the Jew, if the, the Esau was in charge at this time, instead of Persia meeting, all the, Jew, all the Jews probably would be dead. The conquistadors, when they came, they were they were destroying all the Jews at, at uh, well all the uh, the northern kingdom. They were destroying all of us, all on this side of the world before before uh other people came and you know and, and say you know y'all y'all just murderers, you are killing everybody. They were they were trying to make people extinct here. And the Most High God dealt with them, took them out of power. Trust me, like I'm saying, the fact is, yeah, this is this is not a new story. It ain't, there, like I'm saying, there is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new under the sun. But the fact is, y'all need to get your stuff together, get your act together. Because the fact is, when when the Most High God decided to purge a, a lot of us and get get rid of a lot of us, what are you do? What are you toward the commandments? What are you keeping the commandments? He might decide to purge you because you ain't you ain't needed here. You're not necessary. You're not doing His will. You're not showing him honor. So, you know, you, you have to look at it in that in that way. What am I doing? Because yeah, if 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 the if there's there's gonna be a purge, it, it's gonna happen. Because most like God says it's gonna happen. He's gonna purge all the lawless Israelites, because a lot of us need to be purged. A lot of those who, come, who, who claim to be on demon time, oh, definitely need to be purged. A lot of your kinfolk going to be purged. You know, the fact is, you know, because the, the most I got, you know, as Christ said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? He tried to, re he tried to tell you, he's telling you who your family going to be in the kingdom. Not gonna be your blood related people. Those who are keeping the commandments of the Most High God is gonna be your family. So you gotta live by that. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna with, with Moses, with, with Noah, with Noah, with all the people in the flood that I guarantee you Noah had a lot of kin people that died in that flood. I guarantee you he did. There were a lot of people died, that died in that flood. And when the Most High God told Noah, uh, uh, Noah to close the door, I guarantee you there were a lot of people banging on that door saying, Noah, open the door. This is your cousin. This is your nephew. This is your brother. Open the door. And the Most High God told him not to open the door. Once he closed it, do not open it. Just imagine what's gonna happen next time. I look at them like they already lost. So you know what? So when they when they when they actually lost, they lost. They gone. That's how close I am to this Bible, and I suggest that y'all a lot of y'all do the same. That family, oh, my computer rebooted. Okay, I thought of having problems. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off this because my computer just locked up for a second. So 
I thought it had rebooted. Got a black screen and all. Anyway, hope you guys got some out of this. Please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, Want to make these books available on 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 the, at the library? Jeremiah Israel, the name of the book, and the ISBN number. You can go on to Amazon.com, look up, uh, put this, put Jeremiah Israel in the search line, and hit enter. And all the books that are written by me should come up. And if you have a library card, please just. Make it happen. With that family and friends, I like to say shalom. Shalom.